decided I'm going to go over some AP Calculus AB, just basic optimization. So if you're looking at this one, this doesn't look exactly like, like what I've been talking about. This is, I think, a great starting off point. So in these exercises, I'm just going to do one here and then one more video, I think. We're asked to find two positive numbers that fit this condition. It says the sum is S and the product is a max. So the sum is S of the two numbers and the product is a max. So hopefully you can see this that we're going to have two equations and one of them is going to be a secondary equation and one of them is going to be primary. The primary one is the one that we're going to either max or min that we're going to optimize. The second, the second one is secondary, right? So see if you agree with me on this. The product of the two numbers is x times y. The sum of the two numbers is x plus y. And I'm not trying to be whatever here, but that's pretty obvious, right? But what you want to do here is this. Take the secondary equation and put it in terms of, of, one, of, the, of, one, of one of the variables. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say that y is equal to s minus x. Isn't that true? Right, if you just look at that for a second. So... So we're going to sub into our primary equation. And maybe that's what we should have done here is this. When we started, we should have gone, you know what? This one's primary. How do I know it's primary? Because the product is the max. So this is our primary, and this is our secondary. So I'm going to sub that in, and I'm going to just rewrite my product here. I know that y is this. So right here where I find y, I'm going to sub this value in. So I'm going to say that the product is equal to x times s minus x. And then I'm going to simplify that out a little bit. And hopefully you see where we're going with this. So now we can hopefully see that the product is equal to sx minus x squared. And then what we want to do is we want to take a derivative here. And we want to take the derivative of the product uh, with respect to x. So we want to take dp dx. So if we take the derivative up here, this thing just goes to s, doesn't it? And this thing goes to 2 minus x. Isn't that right? To find a critical value, right? We're going to look for a critical value here. We need a critical value, so critical value, critical value. So we have to set this thing equal to zero. We see it's polynomial, so it never, it's never non-differentiable, all right? Um, and the derivative of this is just, I'm sorry, this is the derivative, isn't it? So we're going to solve for this derivative, and we're going to get x is equal to x over s. Isn't that right? No, I have it upside down. Sorry, you guys. Forgive me. S over X, right? So that gets... God, help me. S over 2. Sorry. S over 2, right? And then what we're going to do here is take the second derivative here. So I'm going to take the second derivative of this. So the second derivative with respect to X is equal to just negative 2, isn't it? And negative 2 is always less than 0, so certainly at s over 2, it's less than 0. And the second derivative test states that if f double prime at c, and if we took f double prime, right, if we took the second derivative of, which is this, evaluated at this x value, it would still be negative 2, wouldn't it? So it says, so our second derivative tells us that if f double prime at c is less than 0, we have a relative max, don't we? So we have our relative max here, right? Okay, hope that was helpful. I'm going to ask you just to watch the second video because I think it will come together really, really well. Um, I'm dying to hear your criticism on this. I'm kind of rushing through this, but I want to make sure you've seen some examples of really simple optimization stuff before they turn into these long word problems, which you are absolutely going to see on the AP exam. So.